Hi everybody, welcome back to Puzzle News Around the World here, and today we're going to be unboxing Kenner's release of the Real Ghostbusters Bazooka with Bootlets Mini Shooter made by Kenner from 1986. So, uh, let's get to it. Before we get to unboxing it, I would like to say that I bought this on Amazon. If you guys were wondering how much it was, it was... Almost 20 to 30 bucks is what I would say. So let's get opening the box. So now I'll take you guys off of the table and bring you up here so you guys can see that the figure's in good condition. And yes, it is. So uh, let's get to it. As you guys can see here, that it's right in front of me, bubble wrapped. And uh, I took out the box so we can take a closer look at the figure, not the box. And so here is what the figure looks like all bubble wrapped. It's in this bubble wrapped looking thing. You can see a pink, blue, and orange color. Right here, if I can, if I'll get my hand out of the way so it's right there. And if you turn around to this side, you'll see it. See the figures right there. And that is what they look like bubble wrapped. And so uh, let's get them out of their out of the bubble wrap, and uh, let's do a review on them. So uh, let's get to it. So here is what they look like out of the bubble wrap. As you guys can see here, they're right there in front of me. So uh, let's take a closer look at each one of the figures that we got today from Amazon so uh here's the blue ghost get the camera to focus up right here yep camera's doing a nice job at that I like the horns on him I like his goofy eyes his black eyes I like the his teeth are showing and he has like a nose I like that effect and he has horns like I've uh, said. So uh, here's him from the front. Here's him from this side. Here's him from the back side as you guys can see. And that's what it looks like inside of him because he's a uh, hollow. So uh, there's from the back side. And here's him from this side. And I like that his arms are sticking out. And I like that he kind of looks like a bullet. Because it has that bullet bullet look to it. And I like these like little curves around him. Because that what helps fit him on that pink dude right there. Let's get the camera to focus in on that. On that. So uh, there it goes. So uh, this was the blue ghost. Which was the first item we looked at. So let's set him aside and take a closer look at the orange ghost. So uh, let's set this blue hollow ghost aside. Get the camera to focus in there. There you go. I want the camera to focus in on this orange ghost. So, uh, so here's the orange ghost right here. Like his big eyes and the little black dots right here and I like that he has his mouth open so here's him from this side which was this is the front side this is the other side so the back side and I'll show you guys what it looks like inside there kind of see it's kind of focusing in there but that's the back side and here's this side again. I like that he looks like a bullet too. And he has all these curves around him. Not to mention that these figures are kind of uh, sticky for some reason. I guess they might have been played with or something. Kind of feel like syrup or something got on them. They kind of they feel sticky. So uh, yeah. Here was the orange ghost. So let's him set him aside. And take a closer look at the pink dude. Yep, the 
camera focus in there. There we go. He doesn't like to stand up too well, but uh, so here's the pink dude. As you guys can see, that's what the inside of him looks like. It's kind of hard to see. Camera's not really wanting to focus in. There we go. It's focusing now. So here's the front side. I like his green, 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 um, like eyelids. And I like his uh, black eyes right here. And I like these two ears. And I like his mouth that's open and his eyes. And I like these uh, little two feet right here. So uh, there's him from the front side. Turning him around to this side. You can see he's like kind of curved around on his tail. I like that his like, you know, hands are sticking out right here. Camera's focusing on that, and I like his uh, feet right here, like I said, but uh, here's him from this side, and here's him from like this side. Here's him from the back side, right here. Take you guys off right here so we can take a closer look at this, but here he is. There's his like tail. Turning him around from the back side to this side. Like that his like arm or his hand is like out back here. And I like his uh, feet. And so uh, what you guys want to do. So let's set this figure aside before we do the um, shooting. I like to uh, say a few things. If you're going anywhere and you find these for a good price. I would recommend picking this up. I think the figure looks cute. And harmless and some people think it's ugly and disgusting looking and some people just hate it but I don't because I really like Kenner's release of the real Ghostbusters they're my favorite figures of all time um I did not grow up with these I just got into Ghostbusters because I watched so much of it and it was it's always been a fan to me of it so uh, I'll show you guys what you need to do first is you need to take this let's actually use the orange ghost first so let's take this orange ghost and the pink dude but what you want to do is you want to take your pink dude your orange ghost just slide it in there very easily he's on the wrong way so let's turn him around which is the ghost that needs to get turned around set him in there in a good position position so there he's straight so then you want to come back here you want to press hard right right here you want to press really hard and see and it shoots out the ghost so uh, that's how you're get, he's gonna get it to work so then you want to take it right here again and let's shoot for the camera one two three bam so uh there you go guys there's the orange ghost let's set him aside over back to where he was and take this blue ghost and put the blue ghost in here you see how they have these like little curb lines right here on the ghost that's so they can be able to fit into his mouth so uh, that's why there's a whole bunch of like curves. It's not because he's broken. That's the way it's supposed to look. So that way he can fit into the pink dude's mouth. So let's set the pink, not the pink guy. I mean, let's set the orange dude aside. And here's the blue ghost in the pink, mouth, pink guy's mouth. And as I forgot to say that the orange dude was in the pink guy's mouth. So let's take a look at what the blue looks like when he gets shot out of the pink dude's mouth. So here we go. One, two, three. And so uh, there you go, guys. I'd like to say that the figures are super nice and you guys should uh, pick them up wherever you guys see them. And so let's hurry 
and take them off of um, where they are right now and put them on the spinny thing. And let's do a 360 of them before we get out of here. So uh, let's get to it. So now let's do a 360 of them. So uh, let's spin them around, guys, so you can get a 360 of them. So uh, here we go. I have to use my hands to move this if you guys are wondering. It's not one of those uh, battery operated ones, but uh, here's a 360 of them. And this will be today's look at Canner's release of the real Ghostbusters bazooka with bootlets mini shooter made by Canner from 1986 and I'll see you right back here on Pogo News Around the World. Bye. Check right here to see what's coming soon.